This ball peen hammer is, has led a tough life. It's rusty and the handle is loose, so I thought I'd see if I could give it some new life. I'm trying to figure out if there's a metal wedge in the handle somewhere. Okay, so I found the wedge. Now I just need to figure out how to get it out of there. The wedge is very small. It's almost like a nail rather than a wedge. So now the job is to get the handle removed from the head. This thing sure doesn't want to come out for as loose as it was. So here I'm starting the process of cleaning up the hammer head. I'll try to knock off at least part of the rust with the wire brush. Here I'm scraping the handle with a razor blade. There's a lot of grease, grime, and dirt on this handle. I'm cleaning out the inside of the head with the Dremel tool, as best I can anyway. Here I'm beginning the fitting process for the handle into the head. I'm going to attempt to use the same handle, but it's so loose that some shims will definitely be necessary to make it fit properly. Here I'm using the 4 inch angle grinder to do some rough cleanup on the hammer head. I'm trying to remove as many pits as I can, although I certainly can't get them all. Now for some more smoothing with the 1x30 belt sander. Now 
Okay, okay, we get the idea. Now for some work with the fiber wheel. I'm buffing with Eastwood Tripoli here. The final buffing is with Eastwood White Rouge. Here I'm trimming the top of the handle. I'm cutting a slot in the top of the handle for a wood wedge. Here I'm making shims and wedges for a piece of seasoned oak from my backyard. This wood has been drying for several years now. I think this handle is a little bit too long. More cleanup and sanding of the handle. So now it's time to fit the handle into the head using the oak shims. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Here I'm fitting a wooden wedge into the center of the handle. I made a wedge out of a piece of steel. I filled some of the voids in between the shims with epoxy thinned with acetone. I also secured the metal wedge with epoxy. 
Unfortunately, I lost the footage of me pounding in the metal wedge. So here's the ball peen hammer after some walnut stain on the handle and a few coats of polycrylic. This thing is solid as a rock now. There's no way that head's going to come loose from the handle without a lot of effort anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching.